Today I'd like to read you a short story. This short story is called Beach Waif. There's never anything worth looking at in the early morning beach walks. Except today something's been washed up by the tide. There's a blue grey waif. Shivering. Naked, gasping for breath. Jess, my yappy Yorkshire Terrier, sniffed its feet, then began licking its collarbone. I sounded like a police officer. What do we have here, Jess? She snuggled in next to his heart. I asked him what I should do, but the waif didn't reply. I leered at the blue-black man as White Water's foam coated him. If I gave him my coat, I'd freeze. I noticed his blue lips shaking. A bigger wave came. Should I give him my coat? Jess was glaring up at me and I could have sworn she had a scowl underneath her whiskers. I wondered if the man would be swept back in with the next wave. I yanked his ice cold hand and pulled his whole body towards me. Jess purred strangely like a cat. Without touching him too much, I put both of my arms around Jess and undid my coat. I managed to bundle his concrete cold body inside it. Jess stayed still as I zipped. With the coat cocoon in both, he was easier to drag over the soft sand. Jess wriggled around his neckline, breathing warm onto his face. I wish someone would come. I don't even have my phone with me. My teeth were chattering now. If the police came, they'd think I tried to drown him. But I didn't even know him. Where are you, God? I bellowed into heavy skies. I turned around and looked for the waif on the beach. But I was lying in his place, being sprayed by waves. Jess's breath stank of whelks. What am I doing? Now I have to wash my hair. I love you, said a voice from afar. Warmth seemed to swell inside me. I need bloody help. Strangely, the warmth surrounded my hand and began to tug me onto my feet. A raging fire burned from my insides out. I was being lifted, raised to stand in. In this chasm, bright noon daylight blinkered my eyes. What am I? I whispered. 